When Calls the Heart is set in the big city 1910, and it's centered around our heroine, Elizabeth Thatcher, who has just graduated from Teachers College, and she is primed to begin teaching in the city. Something tr you know tragic happens and kind of breaks apart that dream of hers, and yet another potential job comes into the forefront, which is a teaching job out west in a very, very poor coal mining town. And uh, she's very reluctant, reluctant to take the job because she's, she's been sheltered, um, she's been raised in the lap of luxury, and she's driven by the fears of her, of her life, of her emotions. And she's convinced through a series of events that this is what God has called her to do. And she ventures out west and she ends up in this in this uh, heart-stricken coal mining town that has just experienced its own tragedy. Uh, there was a, a mine disaster that killed one-third of the, of the workforce of the men. And so they're, they're trying to heal from this massive devastation while this young woman is now trying to take over as the teacher of this town. When uh, Michael had completed his work on this, he gave me a call and said, Jeanette, I think this is a wonderful opportunity now for you to write a new series. And I had already retired a number of years back, so I didn't feel that uh, I really wanted to delve into that again. But he said, you could co-write. And we ended our conversation that day, and then I thought, you know, Maybe our daughter Laurel would be interested in getting involved in this. She has been published before and she's at a point in her life now where she's a little more free to get back into writing and is interested in doing that. So I gave her a phone call and she said, I'd love to. So we are busy now co-authoring this new series that will include some new characters. We are going to use no, a number of Michael's characters, but we are going to be developing the story in a little different way. We realize that for filming, basically the, the uh, audience will be picking things up visually through the eye, where we can go into the lives and feelings of these characters in a little different manner. And we're going to be bringing in a few original characters as well, and so, we are able to explore the emotions of these people that probably isn't uh, quite as easy to do on film. Although we catch a lot of how they're feeling about how they respond to things, we can actually tell readers what's going on inside. People don't realize this is a, this is a woman who in her quietness has sold over 30 million copies of her books. There's only a handful of writers living today that can say that. And yet, you would have no idea that this woman is that accomplished um, and that that many people love her for her work and her storytelling.